Goodbye. I'm gonna make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children were in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. It's time for Eric Place if Beyond Earth, episode one. Hey guys, I'm back as I said it would be with uh, Civ Beyond Earth. Let's uh, get to it. I'm gonna leave it at Sputnik because because uh, I don't remember what uh, how this game goes. All right, let's see here. Don't remember what I was last time. Who's my leader? Ah. All right, well, let's see. I'll do this one. Cavithan, Protectorate, Cities, and Outposts, Gaining Tiles. Great colonists. See, I don't remember what most of these things do. Um, how did I win last time? Let's see. I got Transcendence. Protean map. <sighs> All right, so let's go for science. Tricky, tricky. Well, sure, maybe this will help me see where I want to go. I think I'll start with a worker unit. Let's do this. <coughs> Kavitha Thakur. And to seek ownership of that which he surveys. As we come upon our new world, we must not think this is ours and only ours. We must show reverence for the glorious life which our humans claim. We are refugees, not conquerors. On this new planet, we will be new creatures, not the only creatures. Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like My psychohistorical simulations suggest that our society could evolve in three very different directions, or affinities, based primarily on which technologies we invest our research in. As we level up in a specific affinity, we will gain benefits which will help us adapt to life on this planet and unlock powerful upgrades to our military units. I think 
I went for harmony last time. Maybe I'll go for purity this time. Orbital surveys of the planet's surface indicate an abundance of native life forms, but no advanced intelligence. These life forms do not appear to be overtly hostile, but I would recommend caution when deciding to engage with them. Eibel? Select a suitable location for our people to make planet fall. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. Uh, this one looks like a good spot. <laughs> Phyraxis. This is the one I did the first time. Transcendence. Alright, so I think I want to do this one. So let's see here. So he can attack. He can move, do nothing, alert, fortify, or explore. Well, let's explore since he's an explorer. Virtue screen allows you to choose the virtues that will shape your civilization. You spend your accumulated culture to acquire them. The deeper you go in each row or column, the more bonuses you will earn. This is the orbital view. It displays the effect areas of units that are in... web provides a bird all right 
Let's see here. So right now. Ah, I see. Plus one. Okay. Very cool. Uh, look at the little space guy in there. the laser comm satellite. Let's see. one of my uh, competitors. El pueblo unido de Sudamérica le da la bienvenida. Nice. Fala despacio. Resource pods were sent ahead of our journey and contain valuable materials from nice. old Earth. Send a unit onto the resource pod to see what it contains. You have a new quest available. Throughout the game, your This may be helpful. So I have to find some resource pods. Forgot what this one uh, flat flips to. Another guy. This <coughs> Warren. The African people greet you. Guys are really late to the game. Venez, mettez vous à l'aise. Nice. So we should now post. Nice. 
got some culture. for knowledge, I guess. This little farm with these things, they look like they'll eat my settlers. Excuse me, I have important information for you. This will help. Right, let's see. Explorer. Soldier. I should probably at least build one soldier so I have some defense. Discovered a station. You can establish trade routes with stations to receive various supplies that your people may need. Cool. Very good. Pardon me. I may be able to assist you. Okay. Sounds good. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Very cool. So I can do trade.
discovered something wonderful. There are many more sites like this to investigate around the world, so you might want to consider Yay. building additional explorers to send to these locations. So... So I'm not sure where, which direction I would go, but let's see here. Definitely want to do that. Oops. It looks like I can't stack stuff. That's annoying. Mm, there we go. Definitely a trade depot. And definitely a colonist. Might as well increase the culture as well. Alright, and then we'll probably do another soldier after that. Alright. You've earned an affinity I like this point quote. in either purity, supremacy, or harmony. You can now choose an upgrade for your soldier unit. Once you choose an upgrade, all of your all right, I have something that needs your attention. Okay. You've earned your first affinity point in either purity, supremacy, or harmony. Affinity can be earned by researching certain texts, completing quests, or excavating various sites around the world. Affinity allows you to upgrade your units, and at higher levels, it will change your entire civilization. Hmm, I like this one. Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship. Huh. Looks like I've lost one or something. Guys, all alone by the beach, just making a road. Okay. 
This looks like a really good place for a colony over here. Lots of resources. Alright, got some marines. Put them over here. Oh, hey, Megalyn. How you doing? Sorry, I didn't see your message before. Kill a siege worm, alright. When I find one, I will kill it. Yeah, I saw you playing that before. Gave you a little hosting uh, since I wasn't playing at the time. Come, Mr. Hubbard. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Wow, this guy took forever to get here. Six missions in the intro quest. That's a pretty long intro. I feel like Assassin's Creed also has very long intros as well. It takes a while till the game gets going. Excuse me, I have important information for you. All right, build trade routes now. Back over here. Here's a siege worm, I think. All right. Let's make a, let's add a trade convoy here. The colonist. <laughs> That's cool uh, for the Assassin's Creed paying off. Um, I've definitely become more of a fan of stealth from playing the Assassin's Creed games. Oh, that would not be good for me. It looks like I would die, so I'm going to stay away here. from trade depots. I can get energy. Let's go for production. I already have a couple production bonuses. I, maybe I'll go for the uh, culture bonus. Cool. So it looks like I want to make a trade route with them. And too bad my guys suck right now. I'm just going to fortify them actually. Instead of having them come out of alert every time. Alright, let's build a farm. Lots of little farms for this guy. <coughs> Another quest decision, okay. to be stronger or do I want health? And my health seems okay. I think I'll do the city bonus. Here comes another rival. 
泛亚合作。Right. So we get more science for every population, or more culture. Hmm. Interesting path to go. Let's do science for now. Because that gets us more tech and stuff. Whoa. Pardon me, I may be able to assist you. All right, so let's see. Ooh. Build a farm out here. Gonna want to protect him. I. This is like one of the funny things about video games. Oppression. Chaos and death may come from the barrel of a. And the way that you know they have to function to be games, because if you think about it, uh, fiction-wise, you're saying that you have this spaceship, but you're not allowed to access all of it until you do all these missions. Um, I guess there could be some reasons why they would do that, but for the most part, it seems a bit silly. You know, if it was real life as opposed to a video game. Perfect. That's where I was going to put it. An outpost will prosper when found it in a location with plentiful food. So choose a location. Nice. Well, at least I got a soldier unit. I will have them here on alert. Oh yeah, these are like the barbarians of uh like their Sid games. Whoa. Alright. Manticores, huh? Uh Minor Victory. Or I could just keep exploring for now. Turns here. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. That's a weird quote. Hey kids, don't dream of candy. Dream of pipes and water and stuff. I have something that needs your attention. Sure. <coughs> All right, I have two cities now. Time to mine this stuff over here. Yeah, 
<laughs> One win is still work, I think that's right. guys come all right nice I can get with them even faster Hey Zelder, how's it going? Nice to see you in the stream. Alright, so I'm gonna do a trade route. Let's see. Um, so I can get plus six energy and plus one science, or just plus one science. Or I can get plus four culture. Well, I don't need energy yet, but I might soon. I guess I'll go here. See if I can do something here. Too tired to stream. You must be really tired, dude. Look at that quarry. Nice. Whoa. There are a lot of beggars over here. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. All right, can you get over here without dying? Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see you guys. Uh, it's uh, it's often pretty quiet in the chat, so it's cool to have some people for once. All right, new virtue. So I think we could definitely use this bonus for now. Oh, are you in the DC region too, Meglin? Oh, 
Oh, Atlanta. Oh, you guys have ice over there too. That's crazy. Were you gonna um, stream your board game or just play without streaming? All right, we got another colonist over here. Let's see. Ooh, I don't have any access to this stuff. Let's go. go about here Okay. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. This is a great quote. Um, is that a uh, is that a pub that does board games? Nice crash site artifacts. More trade. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an awesome place. Man, we don't have anything cool like that over here at all. So, um, Zelda, do you um, like Civ, like uh, Civ Five or any of the previous ones? Looks like I need a trade depot so I can have more trade. Put that in the queue. So, um, I would say that uh, this game is kind of like a much more complicated version of Civ. Um, now, I normally um, play the heck out of Civ games. Um, if you look on my Raptor page, I've done some ridiculous, like, maybe um, two, three hundred hours of Civ 5. Uh, so for me, 
um, it's a no-brainer to play this game. Um, the one thing you have to watch out for with this Humble Bundle is that unlike the usual Humble Bundles, um, you the games are like grouped together. So you get only three Steam codes, not like nine or ten Steam codes, which really sucks because I already had XCOM and I already had um, Civ V and I was planning to give those away as, um, as extra life rewards. But I couldn't because they were bundled in with games that I wanted, like this one. And they do mention it at the bottom near where you pay, but I didn't realize that at first when I was um, going to buy them. Yeah, in that case, it's really good, and I really, really, really like XCOM. Um, if you want to see how that is, um, I would recommend taking a look at my um, my YouTube page. Um, so you see at the top of the um, thing here, it's DJ Otaku 4. I think if you just do YouTube slash DJ Otaku 4 or slash user slash DJ Otaku 4, um, you can find my playlist with XCOM and... Um, that game is really fun. Like, that game is worth the bundle just by itself. Alright, looks like I need to watch out for the health here once it dips. I'm going to start getting some penalties, so I'm going to have him queue up a clinic and have him queue up a clinic as well. Yeah, pretty much all the games that um, Fraxis makes, they're all one more turn games. Like you're like, oh, I'm going to play for like 10 minutes and the next thing you know, it's like two hours later. Um, since I got the... Um, enemy within um, expansion or DLC from um, the Humble Bundle. Um, I ended up playing that last night for like two hours by accident. No, I haven't heard of Chaos Reborn. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Wizards. Wizards are always cool. I'll definitely have to check that out. Probably gonna do about five more minutes tonight and then I need to get to bed. Um, I've got uh, 
I've got a four-year-old and a pair of twins that are only two months old, so... Um, playing games that night is like my guilty pleasure. sucks when you play a game and have a dumb AI. No one else has built their trade route thing yet, unfortunately. That's okay. Alright, good night, Zelda. I'll see you uh, next time you stream, and if I'm not there, I'll definitely make sure to host it. nine turns combat rover in eight then a trade depot trade depot in ten all right i'll wait till they do a trade depot and then that'll be it for tonight Just like uh, any game of Civ, sometimes you find yourself just passing the turns, waiting until you develop that tech you need to do the next thing you want to do. So. have covert agents available. Assign them to other factions' cities. This may be helpful.
All right, I'll work on a worker. Two more turns. <coughs> All right, let's see. I'll send him to this corner of the map. assist you. Alright. So you can rebase no. Uh rebase to there. Yep. Satellite. Excuse me, I have important information for you. Um. Okay. Now, I need chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. Okay. Whatever gets me titanium. Let's see. Titanium comes from engineering. Oh, I've got that already, huh? Okay, cool, cool. Okay. All right, let's do some operations. Okay. Siphon energy. Okay. Let's establish a network for now. Establish a network. Establish a network. Alright, so... Ooh, let's do that. Increase that. Alright, my cooperation group is expired. They got there, they got there, they got there. And virtue time. Okay, let's go here. Nice. Okay. A worker. Can he do anything with this? This is a geothermal. I'm gonna need these. Hopefully he can do something with it, but if not, we'll find out that he can't. I just want to see if you can get there so I know what science to set because I might not play this game for a few more days. <coughs> yep, that's fine. I wonder what she's saying. Definitely sounds like legit Chinese, but uh, I wouldn't know for sure. Ooh, 
right. You can't mine it. Good, 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 good. discovered a new efficient method to build and deploy satellites. I didn't understand Once that. I didn't understand it, but I don't care. I like that. launch a satellite to the orbital layer, which will allow you to project abilities or firepower down to the world below. Choose its final orbital location carefully, as it cannot be moved once deployed. get uh, burned. Geothermal energy. This may be helpful. Very nice. All right. He still has a low chance of actually making it, huh? Sure. Whoa. Not good for any little move over thing. Alright. 
bring that rover back and I have to go or I'm going to be playing this all night long. And that's not good. I have so much snow to clear tomorrow. Healed, and it's time to save. All right, so we're good. Thank you so much for watching. It was great to have the uh, other extra life guys come, um, the elder and Maglin. You guys are always welcome, and um, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Eric Plays Civ Beyond Earth Episode One. Bye.